you gotta take a look. My microphone's right in my face. Or at least maybe a movie mark. What's a movie mark? They're going, maybe. It's online. Yes, the parents of a toddler who died last year at an unlicensed daycare in East Vancouver have now filed a lawsuit. Earlier this morning, with a bit of fuel spill, now that fuel spill has been contained, but uh, Drive BC says they had to close one lane southbound on the Coquihalla Highway, so you may run into some delays along there. And of course, if you see anything else on our roads uh, causing a delay. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. Uh, we have 10 right now. Yeah, for the fall. Well, we try and balance out uh, something a little more humorous or lighter with, with some of the dark, darker content films, uh, trying to hit as many parts of the world as we can. Um, but yeah, really, we just want the best films that weren't, wouldn't otherwise get shown. Uh, the whole um, series uh, group weighs in, so uh, five to ten. Oh yes, yeah. oh yes. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a really nice, heartwarming film. It's going to be so funny. I mean, Nick Offerman is just a comedic genius in a lot of respects. And I think that he gets to really stretch out and, and do something a little bit more multidimensional in this film with his relationship with his daughter. Um, yeah, so do you want to give the synopsis? Of yeah, so basically um, his daughter is heading off to university, but before she can go, he's trying to sort of hold on to her and, and wants to jam with her. And they happen to uh, create a song that actually becomes a bit of a viral hit. Uh, and so then there's that sort of, you know, do you stay here and we become a band or, or do you still go? And, um, you know, the various other layers of life that sort of feed into that. Uh, we wanted something uh, sort of lighter to, to start off the, the series because sometimes when you, when you start too heavy, you know, it doesn't get people uh, sort of into it. And also, um, we thought it might have s some mass appeal and maybe get some people that haven't been out to the series before that would go, hey, I know, you know, Nick Offerman, I watch Parks and Rec, let's, let's check this out. Yeah, it's going to be uh, very serious and very timely um, with lots of stuff what's going on with Facebook and, and Google and stuff. So what they're doing is is they're farming out um, humans to go and just go through the web and delete content that they just feel is inappropriate. Um, so there's an emotional toll on the people that are watching this um, in terms of the, the people that they've hired to delete these things. But there's also these ideas of democracy and why do why does Facebook get to say what we can or cannot see. 
Um, in conjunction with this screening, we're going to have a, a pre-film talk uh, in conjunction with the library. Um, so we've got somebody that's going to uh, moderate a really lively discussion, hopefully, about this whole idea of democracy and, and the internet. Yes. Well, we're partnering with uh, Drunk in a Graveyard, um, a podcast, uh, and so they're getting the word out. And um, yeah, we just felt uh, Halloween's coming up. It just it just makes a lot of sense. We do our dark fest during the festival, but uh, you know, Halloween is the key dark fest time. So we wanted to do something great. And this film, I mean, the reviews um, have just been incredible for it. Yeah, and uh, and people have been loving it. So we thought it was a it was a perfect fit. Yeah, so we're bringing in three film, five film, and the full ten film uh, series passes uh, this year, yes. Uh, uh, $11 for adults, $10 for seniors, and $5 for students and children. Uh, it's always best. Um, just because it, makes you get, it yeah, gets you go right into the theater that much quicker to get the popcorn in your seat. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.